Good morning, students. In this video, we are going to discuss how to make historical monuments in Blender. Before starting this video, just look at the shape of historical monument that we are going to achieve. We will build historical monument in four videos. First of all, three important things. That is first, fencing, second, minaret, and third, dome. And with the help of dome, we will achieve the broad gateway also. And in the last video, we will combine all the things together to make historical monument. So in this video, in this first video, we are going to discuss how to make fencing for the historical monument. Before starting this, just look at the shape of fencing that we are going to achieve. This is a shape which we are going to achieve in Blender. So come to Blender. Just delete all the things that we don't need. Camera also. OK. Now, we will take a cube to achieve this fencing Take a scale tool, just scale this a little bit. Now this is perfect size for us. OK. If you want to decrease some width also, you can decrease more. OK. And take some height. OK. That's enough. Come to edit mode. Now, we will make two segments of this cube. How to make segment? Just press Control plus R on your keyboard and take two segments here. And now, we want to fix this segment. We are going to fix this at the center. After this, come to a skeleton view. Now, as you know, there are three important things in the edit mode. First is, Vertex, second is edge, and third is face. So we are going to take edge. Now, we will select alternate edges here. For this, select this one. Then hold Shift key on your keyboard and select this one also. After this, click on a Scale tool and scale this in Y direction. Now, this is how we can achieve our fencing shape. Now, to achieve more accuracy, click on Face tool, select this face, upper side, this one, and scale this a little bit more. Now done. OK? Change your viewport again. Now you can see that we have achieved this shape. Now, we want to increase the number of uh, fencing either in the left side or right side. So there are two options. First option is that either we will uh, duplicate all the fencings, OK? But this will create a lot of cubes, OK, uh, to handle cube 1, cube 2, cube 3. Let's suppose we want to achieve our 10 fencing, so we have to take 10 cubes, duplicate cubes, OK? Uh, for this, we will uh, use the second alternate option, that is come to modifier property, click on add modifier, click on array, OK? now. Take the value of x as 0 and y as 1. Now you can see that we have achieved two fencing side by side. We can increase this number by count. Just increase a count and take the fencing number as per your need. So in this video, we have discussed how to make fencing. In the second video, we will discuss how to make minaret for the historical monuments. 